Hi guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at some watercolor paints. They are made by a French company called Sennelier. We're also going to be looking at some brushes made by Traquel. I always like to have a disclaimer at the beginning of my video explaining where I got these supplies from. And they did come from Traquel, which is a website. They sell their own products like brushes, panels, um, different things to paint on like canvases. They also sell brush cleaners and things of that nature. But they also sell paints from different companies. And no matter what you buy from that website, it's like super high quality, nice things. So they don't carry everything under the sun, but what they do carry, um, I think is a very large line of really high quality products. And I did receive these products for free in exchange for this review, so I just want to be upfront and honest with you before we proceed. Normally, I would talk about price at the end of the video and if I think it's a good deal, but it is such a good deal that I'm going to talk about it upfront and foremost while I have the most viewers watching my video. If you are interested in Sennelier paint and you want to get the 12 colors plus 6 free colors, I have not found any other website that sells it cheaper. So if you want to get this for about $9 cheaper than competition, go to Traquel's website. Um, I just, I couldn't believe that it was so much cheaper than the competition. and. I know a lot of websites will be like, hey, discounts, but if you know anything about actually buying from the websites, they have that little asterisk, and if you're getting a set of paint, the discounts don't apply to that because it's too expensive of an item. They only do that for items that they're trying to get rid of. So uh, yeah, this is just $9 cheaper. And no, it's not just for my subscribers. It's just $9 cheaper than everybody else. Like I don't, know how they can do that, but that's what they do and it's amazing. And if you like Sennelier paint, which I absolutely love, we'll get into that later. If you like Sennelier paint and you want the artist quality paint and you don't want to play around, but you want a cheap price, because I get you and I want a cheap price, definitely look into Traquel's website. Um, I will have links in the description below of the video and also I'll post a comment at the top with all the information on how to find the products that I'm reviewing today. But yeah, normally I don't talk about prices first, but it's just so crazy good that I feel like I have to tell you that now. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about me and trying to save everybody on the internet money. <laughs> I think I have a problem. <laughs> all right, so we're actually going to get into the paint right now. I'm gonna read what it's described as on the box, which is French artists watercolor. They're honey based, they're luminous and rich, and it's a color palette of the impressionists. This is 12 colors, but six free colors. They are half pans. And then on the back of the box, it says, the honey used in La Aquarelle Sennelier acts not only as a preservative, but also as an additive, bestowing incomparable brilliance and smoothness to the paint. Always striving for excellence, Sennelier has revamped its watercolor formula, increasing the amount of honey to reinforce the longevity, radiance, and luminosity of the colors. True to Sennelier's roots, the color palette remains that of the Impressionists, and the paint is, as always, made in France using traditional methods. So that's what the box says. The colors that come in the 12 colors plus 6 free color set are Burnt Sienna, Ultramarine Deep, Phthalo Cyanine Blue, whoa, <laughs> Warm Sepia, Lemon Yellow, Carmine, French Vermilion, Alizarin Crimson, Payne's Gray, Phalocyanine Green Light, Forest Green, Dioxazine Purple, Raw Umber, Cenarius Blue, Naples Yellow Deep, Bright Red, Venetian red, and ivory black. These 18 colors come in a palette that can easily hold 24 half pans. Um, 
So a little bit about the palette itself. This isn't written down anywhere, I'm just telling you. Um, it is a metal tin. It has one of those metal rings that you can put on your finger for plain air painting outside if you want to hold your palette. It has four large wells, mixing wells on one side, and on the other end there are ten kind of more shallow ones that are on a uh, slant. There is room for one brush in the middle, potentially two depending on the size of your brushes. Um, and yeah, the tin is pretty standard. I love painting with the metal tins as opposed to some of the other products that I've tried, like plastic or, or something like that. They're awful. But yeah, it's a nice tin. It's very standard. It's also nice because you can add an additional six colors to the set um, and just snap them in there and whenever you want to add something, you know, you can just take it out and change it. So it's really nice. Also the half pans. I know this is kind of stupid, but I, I just love this. I love when companies write on the side what the color is so that when you're done with the color, you can pick up the pan and see what it is that you used and you don't have to remember or mark it yourself. So that's the case here. Extra bonus points for that, Sennelier. You did great. That makes me really happy. I'm also really happy with the color selection of this palette. So you get like two yellows. One is a kind of Ponza kind of yellow and the other one is a warmer yellow. You have four browns, they all look completely different. You have one gray, uh, you have one black, you have a purple, you have two greens, they look completely different. Um, you have three blues, they're very pretty, um, and four reds. And in the reds, some are pinkier, some are more orange, but it's a really nice array of colors to choose from, and they all mix together really beautifully, and you can create other colors very easily. So I'm very happy with the colors that they picked for this palette. Um, they're very, very pretty. Something interesting about Sennelier paint that I've noticed is that their colors are very light compared to other companies watercolors so they're not like super deep or super dark in comparison but they have like this I, I mean it sounds cheesy but they're, they have like this luminous quality I guess is how they describe it but they're very very pretty so if you like to paint with lots of glazes and lots of layers and washes these are just really really pretty paints so I'm a huge fan of these I think actually Sennelier might be, it might be my favorite brand of watercolor paint now. Um, it's just the softness of the colors and how pretty they are and how they blend and everything's just really, really beautiful. So I'm a huge fan. If you really like the dark, deep colors, um, this set's not going to be for you, but you know, that's okay because, you know, everyone's different and everyone has different interests. So I took a step forward with this and I went to their website to research the, the colors we have in this set just to see what their light fastness was because I, I like companies that are upfront tell you what it is and this didn't say anything. But all of these have their highest light fastness ratings um, and actually all of their paints have the highest light fastness rating except for I think two colors <laughs> and that's kind of I think it was like a hot pink or something like something like that which all companies have problems with but their paints are extremely light fast so that's fantastic because you want to have your paintings looking as beautiful as they possibly can for as long as they possibly can. I also found out that some of these colors are transparent, some of them are semi-opaque, and some of them are opaque. There will be a swatch where I have this all written down so you can see the different colors, the color number, and also the transparency or opaqueness of each color. And I guess we can say at this point in the review, do I like them? And I mentioned earlier that I think they're great, so yes, I absolutely love them. I think that they're fantastic and I think that uh, <laughs> I don't even really want to buy other paint brands. Like I just, I'm, ha I'm so happy with these. They're, they're not super deep, but 
I think that that works well with my style of painting. I usually don't go super deep with the colors. I mean, there's a few exceptions for the rules, like if I'm doing galaxies or things like that, which I don't tend to do that much. I prefer to work lighter. Um, and I think that these just are a fantastic set. You get six free colors and it's cheaper than just getting the 12 color set. So um, I think this is a great deal. I think it's a great palette and I'm really happy that I have it. And if I didn't get this for free, I definitely would buy it. Um, no question about it. It's just a really, really good deal. Is it for everyone? I mean, not everything is for everyone. So you have to kind of look at it and see, is this the way you want to paint? Do you want to have like nice, light, airy colors? Or are you more into like the deep, vibrant, crazy colors, you know? And do you like honey in your paint? Yes or no? I mean, it's just, you have to look at it that way and see if it's something that you want. But if you're interested in Sennelier paints, this is a great deal. And I definitely recommend this set specifically. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit about how far I went with the prices. So I went on Traquel's website and the 12 color set is $67.18. But the color, the, the same colors in the 12 color set, but with the six free colors, is 6707. So it's like 10 cents cheaper. I don't even know how that works. So if you're going to get 12 colors and you want the same tin, definitely just go for the free six colors. And it's not just free, it's like you're saving 10 cents. Like I don't even, none of this makes any sense to me guys, but it's, it's awesome. <laughs> So then I went to Dick Blick and I also want, I went to Dick Blick, I went to Amazon and I went to Jerry's Artorama online. And these are some pretty standard companies that sell a whole lot of stuff. Some of their stuff is really just terrible items, but they just sell a bulk of different, I guess, uh, brands. Where Traquel, I would say, is very picky about who they choose to work with and everything they have is extremely nice. Uh, Dick Blick, Jerry's Artorama, and Amazon will just sell you whatever, you know, whatever signs up. But Traquel's more picky about the quality of their things. Anyway, so for the same set with the six free colors, Dick Blick, Amazon, and Jerry's all had their prices listed at $75.61. So you're basically just saving $9. I don't know why they all have the same price, but for some reason Traquel is better. But uh, yeah, I would jump on this and buy it now before they change the price if it's something that you're interested in. Um, because I don't know how long it will be at that price before they would have to raise it or something of that nature. But right now this is like a, a really good deal for Sennelier paint. I guess I, I, I almost feel like it might be an accident that it's listed this low, you know? So if I were you, I would buy it before they watch this video and they're like, wait a second, we didn't list it like everybody else did. I don't know, I just, it's, it's a good deal. I don't get it. I don't know, guys, I don't know. So I absolutely love the paint, but I also really, really like these brushes that Traquel has sent me. And they sent me five brushes and all of them are synthetic, but they do feel like they're natural hair brushes. Uh, they're short handled and I, I got a lot of different shapes, which was cool. I normally don't work with anything aside from round brushes or flat brushes. Uh, just because I just have a lot of experience with them and then I just will figure, hey, I'll just work harder to make shapes and whatever, and, you know, as long as I have these, I'll be fine. Like, it's basically a apocalypse, apocalyptic sort of uh, mindset where if the world ends, if I have a round brush and a flat brush, I'll be okay. But it was really fun to work with all these different shape brushes that I got. Uh, so that was really cool. And they were, they were like synthetic squirrel brushes, a lot of them. 
um, and I had a like, synthetic Kalinsky brush, and then there was a mystery brush that is used for lettering. I'm not really sure what it's made out of. It didn't say, but I'm sure it's synthetic. Uh, but it was really cool to use the different shaped brushes, and now that I've used them, I'm like, well, I kind of want to get more because <laughs> they're really cool. None of these brushes come in a specific set. These were all just individual brushes that the representative picked out and sent to me out of the kindness of her heart because she's so nice. Um, so with that being said, I guess I'll just read the names of the brushes. We have an Onyx Quill Mop, another brush called the Protégé, then we have the Onyx Oval Wash, Onyx Round, and then the Pinstriping Dagger. Each of these brushes has a totally different feel. They also have like a different shape, so it impacts how that is. Um, I have really small hands, so I'm really happy with the size of these handles. Uh, they're great for traveling. And the shapes, so we have different shapes. We have a dagger, which Actually, they recommend for lettering and things of that nature or petals and flowers and things like that. Uh, the different shapes of the, the brushes make doing different things a lot easier. I think if I were to buy my favorite ones of the entire bunch, they would be the Onyx Quill Mop, and I would get the pinstriping dagger one. It was just such a fun shape. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's weird. Um, the protege, because that came, comes to like a really nice point and you can get the details. So it's really nice for like the set of brushes that they gave me. But it really depends on how you paint, how you like to paint, because these brushes don't have a lot of snap back to the original shape. They're really good for when you put the paint down on the paper and you want to kind of move the brush around to create a shape, they're not meant to immediately just like snap back. They're, they, you, can, you work with them with the painting process. So if you're really super interested in snap back, like brushes that snap back immediately to shape, like this, you know, probably wouldn't be where you would go because it's, it's most of these are synthetic synthetic squirrel brushes. I'm like stuttering here. Um, but I really like them. I think that they were really fun to work with and now I feel spoiled. Like I should buy some more brushes and try some new things because I had a grand old time with these. They're also really high quality brushes. However, one thing to mention is that um, they're handmade, if I remember that correctly, and that People will put the tops on, like those clear tops, so that in transit they don't get messed up. Two of the brushes had an individual hair bent back, and one of them I was able to easily correct when I got the glue out, and I was able to kind of like just make it straight, and it was fine. But the other one was more stubborn, so I ended up using a nail clipper and just cutting off one of the hairs. and. Like, I get if you're buying a new brush, like that might be really aggravating to you, um, but it really didn't impact the shape of the brush or anything like that, so I was fine with it. But um, yeah, I just feel like I should mention that did happen because a lot of companies will have one hair bent back when they ship out their brush accidentally, and you're like, ah, oh, darn it. It, it was nice though because I could save one brush totally fine and the other one I was just I'm sure if I used one of those uh, brush cleaners and reshapers I probably could have saved that one too but I was just so anxious to start painting because I was really excited to use the supplies so that's kind of my fault I feel like <laughs> sorry Trakel I used my nail clipper and ruined your really nice brush but you know when people be impatient, they do crazy things. I guess also fair to mention is that Trakel sell, sells a whole huge line of brushes. They sell tons of brushes, different kinds of brushes for different kinds of paint and different shapes, sizes, and just so many options when it comes to brushes. So if you're looking for a really, really, really nice quality brush, 
then I suggest going over to Trakel and checking out what they have. They also sell sets. These that I used today weren't in a set, but they do sell sets. So you can also check out like, you know, their clearance section and see what they're selling set wise and it's really affordable. <laughs> or you can be picky and, you know, pick out the ones that you really need or really want or, you know, it's up to you. But their brushes are really nice. Um, so big thank you to Courtney. She is amazing and super kind and really nice. And I'm so happy that I had this opportunity to share with my audience these paints and these brushes. I'm also really happy that your price is so good. <laughs> um, keep doing what you're doing. I, I am thrilled. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you have some really good questions that I think other people might ask, I'll add them to the comment that I'm going to pin to the top of the page. Also, all the information on which brushes these are, I will leave all the links in the description below as well as that comment that I mentioned so that you can check out and buy what you want or need from the website. And uh, yeah, also feel free to browse around and look and see what else they have because they just have a ton of really cool stuff. Yeah, so you guys take care and I'll talk to you soon in another video.